everyone, welcome to Whiteboard with Murphy in three minutes. Today we're gonna to talk about a topic that's extremely, extremely novel, which is called three-parent baby. Three-parent baby is used for women who do not, or couple who do not wanna use a donor egg, and also for other um, issues such as mitochondrial disease and other stuff. But today we're gonna to focus on a couple who try to have a baby, they do IVF, and when they test their embryos, they are genetically abnormal. What are the solutions that the three-parent baby have for them? Because I do think that this technology is going to make um, donor egg history very, very soon. So let's come here. We have Jess and Mike. They're a couple who's trying to get to have a baby. And Mike is 46 chromosome. His sperm has to split into two in the testicles to give 223 chromosome sperm. Jess also had her eggs have to split equally. However, every time they split, the white is cutting the DNA, 46 chromosome, unequally into 24 and 22. So every time the sperm fertilize this egg, they give us 47 chromosome embryo, which is abnormal, instead of 46 chromosome. So now, Jess doesn't, it's not ready to use donor egg. So she comes here and says to an egg donor, say, hey, I would like to have your egg. I would like to have the white of your egg. I don't want your DNA because I want baby that's genetically related to me and I want to use my own DNA. So the egg donor comes and gives her an egg. Then Jess takes her nucleus where the DNA are and then take only the white of the egg donor and we discard this one. And then we fuse that. Then after we fuse, now this is an egg that's reconstructed by the white, which is the one that cuts the DNA now we have a new knife, and then we mature that, and guess what? Now Jess was able to have two eggs, 23 chromosome each, and when we add Mike's sperm, we're having embryos that are genetically normal. Yeah, we get excited. Now why this is not being done? Well, I'll tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. If we look here, in the menstrual cycle, and these are ovaries, not follicles, on cycle day three, the follicle where the 46 chromosome is, is still small, you can't get it. When it reaches cycle 14, it's too late. It's already 23 or already split and the follicle is big. This is where we usually do the egg retrieval and regular IVF cycle. So we need to get the egg out around cycle day nine, just before the division happened. Because if the division happens, it's too late. So now we want to do egg retrieval and a follicle that's small, 10 to 12 millimeter. But guess what? It's extremely hard for an egg to come out from a 10 to 12 millimeter follicle where the DNA is still 46 chromosome in order for us to change the white of that egg. However, 25% of the time, we are successful in getting these eggs. And if we get those eggs, and then we have an egg donor, and we are able to rejuvenate this egg to make genetically normal embryos, Jess, Mike, the egg donor, and I will be extremely, extremely happy.